Hey, what's up, YouTubers? And welcome back to another Todd E. Walnuts unboxing video. And we are about to dig into this bad boy here. This is the Scream Factory Edition box set of Friday the 13th. Stay tuned, we are going to check out the insides. So let's dive into this bad boy here and do a detailed unboxing of this beautiful set. I know there's probably been a hundred unboxings or more by now. The people who ordered from Scream Factory got theirs a few days ago. I happened to order mine from Amazon and it just arrived today and I just peeled the plastic off. And before we get into all the discs in the uh, Amory cases, I want to take a look at this beautiful artwork. It's, it's very amazing. It's everything that I was hoping it would be when I found out that they were gonna release this. It's so good. And they are calling this the deluxe edition. And like I said, it's a 16 disc set. It does have a little information card glued to the side here. We will pull it off, get the little glue dot off, and we reveal Sackhead Jason from part two with his pitchfork. See Pamela Voorhees' head. What a beautiful set. Nice color scheme. I like the way that they have the dark purples and blues and blacks. Highlighted with some lighter colors. You got some yellows and oranges, some red. It just really looks beautiful. I held off looking at any unboxings. I, I apologize, guys. I wanted to see this firsthand before I watched any videos about this. So now that we got the box art squared away here. Look at that. That's that's amazing. We will read a little bit here on the information card. It says, Jason is back in a new deluxe set of the long-running slasher series. This set enshrines the most successful horror series in cinema history. Jason slashes his way from Crystal Lake to outer space and back to fight Freddy. This deluxe col collection includes all of the previously released extras plus all new bonus materials, including new audio commentaries with cast and crew. And it says it is loaded with killer special features. You get 4K scans for the original Friday the 13th, Friday the 13th Part 2, Part 3, including a new transfer of the 3D version and part four, the final chapter. And then you get new 2K scans for Jason Goes to Hell. Uh, you get new audio commentary, new interviews with Sean S. Cunningham, Noel Cunningham, Kane Hodder, Harry Manfredini, director Adam Marcus, writer Todd Farmer, and more. You get a new location featurette. Looking forward to checking that out. I always love the location uh, featurettes like that where it goes back and it shows where the movies were filmed and what they look like now. You get a 60 page booklet, Michael Gingold from Fangoria. You get audio commentaries with cast and crew. The Friday the 13th Chronicles, not sure what that is, but I'm looking forward to checking out all of these special features. Secrets Galore, Behind the Gore. You get a documentary called Slice and Dice, the slasher film forever, featuring Corey Feldman and John Carl Beekler. Uh, you get a documentary called Scream Queens, Horror Heroines Exposed, featuring Adrian King and Melanie Kinneman. You get original theatrical trailers, TV spots, and radio spots. Fangoria Magazine, Still Galleries, and much more. 
So now we will take a look at what's inside the box set and we will take a look at all of the discs and what's inside, disc art, maybe there's booklets. I know that there's a big book we'll go through at the very end. Just wanted to kind of slowly pan over the spines of each movie. And then I'm going to pause it and we're gonna dump all this stuff out and go through it one by one. See, Miss Heidi can't wait. And Miss Hannah, she could care less. <laughs> so I have everything kind of dumped out over there on the side. But before I get into that, I just want to kind of point out, because I always do appreciate the outer shell of box sets. And this is really amazing. I mean, it's very high quality, very sturdy. I brought out my Halloween box set, and I'm going to compare the two at the very end of this video just to do a little side by side and kind of show you the comparison of what each set looks like. But uh, very, very happy and pleased with the way that this turned out. Scream Factory hit a home run on this for sure. First one we're gonna get into is Friday the 13th part one from 1980. This has the original poster art. It is a two disc set because you get the original theatrical cut of the movie and then you get the unrated version of the movie. And it does look like it has a reversible cover. And that looks really good. I love it. It has kind of a throwback feel to it. I think I'm going to stick with the original. This is one of my favorite images ever from any movie, so I'm gonna keep that one on the cover. But that is part one. Part two from 1981, always had kind of a plain Jane cover. Uh, it's very simple but effective. You get the silhouette and then the bloody axe and a little bit of blood smear on the part two. There's the disc art. I think it looks amazing. I love it. And then there is the reversible cover. I really like the way that that looks too. Very, again, very simplistic, but still effective. I love the way it looks. There's Pam Voorhees with her blue sweater and the lovely Adrian King. That is part two. This is part three. I wish they would have went with a lenticular cover for part three to have a little bit of depth for that uh, blade there on the front, but it still looks really nice. Looking forward to checking these out with 4K scans. And there is the reverse. That cover is really nice. I'll probably end up flipping that one and putting that on the front. But either way, you can't go wrong. I think both of these covers are outstanding. That is part three. 1984 brought us the final chapter. Another iconic cover. simplistic cover on the back. I'm going to stick with this cover here for part four. Part five, a new beginning. And this is the red herring, Jason. This movie came out in 1984 as well. Um, and I'm pretty sure by now most of you guys know that Jason was not actually in this movie. He was not the killer. I mean, it's only been 30-something years since they made this, so I hope I didn't spoil that for anybody, but uh, this movie has um, always entertained me. I know a lot of people don't really care much for this one, but I always enjoyed it, and I still like to put it on from time to time. 
so that's part five. Part six, Jason Lives. Easily one of the best installments in the franchise, I th in my opinion. I really enjoy this one. I like the, the beginning of this movie is very good. When Jason gets energized by the bolt of lightning through the cemetery rod, the uh, fence rod. And I think Jason looks really good in this movie too. And there's, well, yeah, I guess I thought they were going to show an image of him without his mask, but he's very grotesque and very zombie-like in this movie. And I really like the way that uh, he looks in this movie. And uh, C.J. Graham played one hell of a Jason in this movie. Very hulking, very menacing. 1988 brought us Friday the 13th. Part 7, The New Blood. Uh, I know some people really like this one. This, this one is one of my least favorite in the franchise. It brings a young female with psychic abilities and pits her against Jason. And uh, it just it wasn't really my thing. I'm glad to have it, though. I, I really love all these movies. This is just one of my least favorite in the franchise. That is part seven. And part eight, they kept getting silly and more silly and more silly. This is part eight, Jason Takes Manhattan. Uh, I wish I could say that this one has grown on me over time, but it really hasn't. It's, it's one of my least favorites. But it's still cool to have all of these in one box set. One of these days I will do a complete ranking of the franchise. And you guys will see what are my favorite and what are my least favorite. This would be <laughs> near the end or near the bottom of my list. And it continued getting silly when Jason goes to hell the final Friday. Jason wasn't even really in this one. Um, you get two different versions of the film, though. You get the theatrical and the unrated. Don't believe I've ever seen the unrated version. And this one also has a reversible cover. That looks really cool. Jason goes to hell and he's not coming back. Or is he? He's only in it momentarily in this one. I'm sure you guys have all seen this by now. So that is Jason Goes to Hell. Then we kind of jumped the shark. We put Jason in space. This is Jason X. This is a sci-fi horror film. There are some really good and uh, creative kills in this movie. One of my favorite kills in the entire franchise is in this movie. And I, I do enjoy this one. It's kind of a guilty pleasure. It's not one of the better installments in the franchise, but it is still entertaining to me. I have fun with it. I really love that cover too. Hoping that NECA puts out a Jason X figure because McFarlane Toys put one out I would say about like 10 years ago, and that thing's going for like 200 bucks. I'm not going to spend that much on a toy. But you can believe if NECA puts one out, I will definitely be adding it to my collection. That is Jason X. And this is part 11 in the franchise. Another one I had a lot of fun with. This is Freddy vs. Jason. Would not mind seeing a part 2 of this. I thought it was pretty creative and pretty entertaining. And I thought Robert England stole a show. It was very, very worth a watch. If you guys haven't seen this one yet, which uh, if you're watching my channel, chances are you've seen all of these probably 10 times or more. But if you haven't watched this one, do check it out. The ending was pretty good. So that is part 11, Freddy vs. Jason. And the last installment to date for the Friday the 13th franchise is part 12, 
This is the Friday the 13th from 2009. And this one grew on me over time. I didn't really care much for it upon my first viewing of it, but I have watched it a handful of times since, and it has grown on me. I do like it. Derek Mears plays Jason in this one. And that guy from Supernatural, uh, his name, uh, Jared Padalecki, he uh, stars in this movie. He did a pretty good job, too. So there's one more disc, and that is the bonus features, and we'll go through the book. So even the packaging for the bonus materials looks pretty cool. And you get uh, two discs. There's the image of Adrian King on the canoe in part one before the young, drowned and disfigured and disformed Jason pops up out of the water. Iconic scene. And with these special features here, you get a new interview with composer Harry Manfredini who did most, if not all, the music for the entire franchise. You get the location featurette you get Return to Crystal Lake, making Friday the 13th, the Friday the 13th Chronicles, Secrets Galore Behind the Gore, a couple of documentaries, Crystal Lake Victims Tell All, Tales from the Cutting Room, Friday Artifacts and Collectibles, that would be pretty cool, and Jason Forever. So definitely looking forward to checking this out. I may watch this before I watch any of the movies, because this is all new material here, so... And then we'll go through the book. Soft cover book, but it's very, the uh, cover is very thick and glossy. There's the Welcome to Camp Crystal Lake sign. <laughs> this guy always cracked me up. <laughs> and then he had a, he had a really good facial expression when he got killed, when he got stabbed in the guts. Crazy Ralph. You're all doomed. Yeah, these movies are great. These these really take me back to my childhood, watching these on VHS. Watch them over and over and over. You know, they keep cleaning these up and keep putting them out. I'll keep buying them. This is definitely my favorite horror franchise of all time. So hopefully you guys had a chance to pick this up. Even better if you got it from Scream Factory and got the posters. I didn't get the posters with this, but uh, it's just as well. I don't really necessarily need the posters. They'd be cool to have, but uh, I, you know, the the main meat and potatoes of this is the box set with the movies. I guess the posters are kind of dessert, but uh, check that out. Try to get that glare off of there. That is awesome. So I'm going to pause it and put everything back in the box, and we will do a side by side comparison with the Halloween box set and see how they kind of stack up next to each other. Okay, so there it is, everything is back in its box. And before I do the comparison, I just wanna say, you know, I hope you guys were able to pick this up. Comment below, let me know if you grabbed it. Also, let me know what is your favorite movie in the franchise. What was your favorite cover? And let's take a look side by side with the Halloween box set. The Halloween box set has 15 discs. Friday the 13th has 16 discs, but the Friday set's a little bit bigger a little bit wider and it has just so much more appeal to it they really went all out with the artwork on the box it's a really nice display piece it's beautiful hope you guys were able to grab one like I said and uh, for Miss Hannah and Miss Heidi I am your boy Toddy Walnuts always look forward to hearing from you guys drop a comment down below if you like the unboxing give it a thumbs up share if you want to share this video with anybody and if you're still considering 
entering my contest for 4,000 subscribers. You have a little bit of time left. And also I wanted to mention, if you leave any comments, I will respond to every comment. It's just that sometimes YouTube isn't the greatest about uh, getting me notifications when I get comments on my videos. So I have to go back sometimes and look to see if some are put in spam folders or if I just missed any. But if you do comment, I will always get back to you. I figure you guys take the time to watch the videos and you take the time to comment. The least I can do is to acknowledge you and respond. So I will do that. All right, guys, take care. And Jason never dies. Later. Mm -hmm.